Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your monthly horoscope for October 2020. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. And if you'd like to follow me on uh, Instagram, you can follow me at Jennifer Walker Zen. And if you'd like a personal review, all my information is in the description box below. We're going to talk about love, career and finance, and health and wellness. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. These are general love messages, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And you can check your moon, your rising, and Venus sign for more information. You can find love, career, and finance, and health and wellness always on your monthlies as well as mid-monthlies, and they come out around the 15th of the month. Okay. So what's going on with my Aries Romantic Love Life for October 2020? What's going on with my Aries Romantic Love Life October 2020? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we see at the overall, there is a lot of wills at play here with the cherry card energy or a sense of traveling, right? Because that's my travel card. All right, so let's see what the clarifier is here. Aries, Romantic Love Life, October 2020. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's a sense that something is moving very slow here in your romantic love life, possibly because of hurt and pain here, or arguments and disputes are causing this. All right, there's a sense of some kind of choice and uh, a sense of slower movement here. We see that the blockage seems to be marriage, long-term commitment, and traditional values, and someone's not completely happy with things with the sun card energy. Okay, so uh, four is about stability and stables and structuring things in a certain way. Okay, so that's part of the blockage and the challenge here. At the foundation of the matter, there's a sense of missing an opportunity or there's things that are being offered or a sense of boredom here and it's like you don't want it and you have a sense that things are a bit of a challenge here where there seems to be a lack of flexibility here with the snake card energy. So there's a lot of thinking, contemplating and analyzing going on here about stability and stableness. In the past, you were trying to gain the answers that you need with the Ace of Swords energy pertaining to house and family here. And again, we're talking about stability and stableness and an opportunity. At the head of the matter, there is a sense of, all right, I want to explore what's out there, page of wands energy. But it's like there's a sense of going around in circles or you're trying to find the right solution here with the, with the uh, labyrinth card. With the labyrinth card, it's like you can see there's multiple people in there and they just don't know what direction to go in. Okay, um, there is a sense of a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing happening here. In the near future, okay, well in the near future you've got the Magician card energy. It looks like you can manifest what you want in your romantic love life or the sense you feel like you have all the tools that you need or you have an ideal situation coming up for you, okay? And it looks like you're going to gain the direction, so you're going to find your way here with the compass card. So you're going to find your way, you're going to gain your direction, you're going to have a sense of, all right, I have all the tools I need, I have an ideal situation. Because what's been going on is there's this sense of going around in circles, not really finding a solution when it comes to house and family, and having a sense of challenges here. But now you're going to find the right direction. There is this potential for passion here, and you're gaining some clarity because of something to do with a missed opportunity and something ideal here with the magician card energy. There's a lot of thinking and contemplating about stability and stableness. There's this, all this thinking and contemplating about healing, recovery, and love here. Okay, so let's see what the influence is here. Hmm. You're definitely weighing heavy on someone's mind here with the Ten of Wands energy, okay? Or there's a sense of responsibility here with the Ten of Wands energy. Yeah, this person's really taken, uh, taken all the responsibility on there. That's what I have a sense of. And it's like strength or control here. It's, it's wanting control around the situations. They're taking on all this responsibility. So we see six is healing, recovery, and love. We have two six card energies when it comes to stability and stableness or organizing things and structuring things in a certain way. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do some clarity here. What's up with this marriage and long-term commitment thing going on? What's up with that card, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Again, we're talking about the sun card. 
uh, a focus on wanting to be happy and feeling like there's a lot of multitasking and juggling going on here, Two of Pentacles energy. And I want to move into calmer waters and move past these challenges in the calmer waters, but there's a sense someone's not being completely honest there with Seven of Swords energy about a choice, Two of Wands energy. What's the snake card about? What's the snake card about? What's the snake card about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Making a choice. Romantic gestures. Making a choice because of romantic gestures to end something to start anew, pertaining to marriage and long-term commitment, and focusing on happiness. Ten of Cups energy. Okay. So it looks like you were trying to gain the clarity and the answers that you needed about having all the tools that you needed with the Magician card energy. Why is the Magician card here? Why is the Magician card here? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Because there's an attraction here. It's something part of your wish and your hope star card energy. And it's like you're trying to see it from a new way and a new perspective and there's some communication or things seem to be moving a little bit faster than you're expecting. And you kind of don't want to get hurt here. Um, so you're doing a lot of thinking, contemplating about it. All right, Ten of Wands, please. What's the Ten of Wands about? What's this Ten of Wands about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Waiting for that opportunity to work together and a sense of wanting some kind of control and doing some deep, heavy soul searching about it pertaining to your happiness, sun card energy. Okay, so let's now, before we go into the outcome here, okay. Okay, I wanna look at your advice. Okay, so before doing anything, you have to wait to see how things are gonna play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. So be patient, wait, invest the time in this, okay? Let things grow here. Seven of Pentacles energy. Seven also represents thinking, contemplating, analyzing. Let's also pull some cards from here as well. Can I ask some advice from my Aries Romantic Love Life for October 2020? Can I ask advice from my Aries Romantic Love Life for October 2020? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so your surroundings will undergo a change or transition. Okay, a new relationship will blossom. So you're gonna go through a change, a new relationship will blossom, and now you'll see why this advice is gonna come up in a minute. <laughs> um, but at the moment, fate has blocked your path. So there's some hindrances right now, okay? So that's why they're saying, just wait this out, see how things are gonna play out here, okay? And let the time, invest some time in this, okay? Seven of Pentacles energy, okay. So there's a sense of things being stuck here with the hangman energy, okay? So there's something to do with stuck energy and it's like you're trying to see things from a new way and a new perspective. However, you do have this opportunity coming up, this new opportunity, Ace of Wands, okay? So you have this opportunity coming up as the advice also stated. But there's a sense of you feeling like your hands are tied when it comes to the situation, like your back's against the wall and there's nothing you can do about it. So you have to weed it out here. Um, Things will come work in your favor. It's just that changes will happen. You just have to give it some time, okay? Just be patient. Seven of Pentacles energy is saying, be patient, invest some time, let it grow. See how things play out. But you do have this new potential here. And if we look at the numbers of this, there's an opportunity to put the work or effort into it. Let's take a look at the, yeah, so we got again, clarifying again, you have this opportunity coming up. There's a lot of emotions that play with the fish card energy but there's this sense of being wise in your decision making. That's why you feel like your hands are tied here with that Lily's card energy. Yep. All right, my darlings, let's now focus on your career and finance. You know I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments below. How is, how are you doing? How are you feeling? What's happening with you guys? All right. All right, so what is going on with my Aries career in finance for October 2020? What's going on with my Aries career in finance for October 2020? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so I'm gonna pull six cards. Wow, you're 
love life and your work life is emulating each other in this. It's crazy. All right, so let's see here. So there is this opportunity coming up for you, Ace of Wands energy, that you may feel passionate about here, or it's a creative endeavor there with the Ace of Wands. But there's some, there's some things that are being offered to you that maybe you just don't quite want here with the Four of Cups energy. So you're gaining some kind of knowledge or you're using your intuition here with the High Priestess card, or you feel, feel like there's a sense of something secret here. Um, you're taking actions towards things that you really love here with the Knight of Cups energy, and I have a sense that you're speaking your truth here around your situation when it comes to your career and finance, and you're taking a leadership role here with the King of Wands energy. So let's look at this from a numerology perspective. There's this opportunity you're gaining some kind of knowledge and you're speaking your truth. It's about stability and stables and structuring things in a certain way. Knight of Cups is telling me that you're taking actions towards stuff that you really love and it's about creative endeavors and passions here and you're taking a leadership role in that. So what is Spirit's advice for you? Now, it could be um, this person, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, they could help you with this situation or they're saying, Take a leadership role, look what happened to you in the past, use your life experiences to make wise decisions and wise choices, but with your emotions, okay? So what's, what feels good to you internally as far as your heart, follow your heart on this with the King of Cups energy. All right, let's work on your health and wellness here. Let me move this out of the way. All right, can I have some advice for my Aries health and wellness please? Show my cards I need to see. For October 2020, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so you gotta listen to your intuitive feelings here, okay? So you have strong intuition here. And also focusing on living in the present moment and being happy here, because laughter is the best medicine. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. If you'd like a personal read with me, all my information is in the description box below. If you want to follow me on um, excuse me, Instagram or Facebook, it's Jennifer Walker Zen. And guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you to all my members. And I also need some ideas, video ideas. Halloween's coming up, so let me know what, what you think would be a good thing for me to do in the comments below. Love you guys so much, and I will see you in another day or two.